Hi, and welcome to Future Focus. Today, we're talking about one of the hottest topics in technology, generative AI. With ChatGPT setting the record for the fastest growing user base of an app, Gen AI is front of mind for all of us and is shaking up the way of how many of us work. Joining us today is Mike McHugh, creative leader for Adobe. Mike's going to help us unpack the generative AI opportunity for small businesses, as well as the challenges and some of the risks. Mike, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's great to chat. So let's start with the basics. What is a summary of what is Gen AI? Think of it like a human brain. So as we start to learn about the world, we might see hundreds of thousands of dogs. And if I needed to draw you a dog, I would draw in my memory to think about what dogs look like. I could draw you a dog. A Gen AI model is exactly the same. It needs a huge data set in order to be able to create a new version of that for you. In very basic terms, users are able to type in a prompt. So what would I like to see? And then our generative AI engine will create an image for you based on that text to image prompt. And so what can small businesses do today that wasn't possible before Gen AI and large language models became more mainstream and available? For a small business, this is a fantastic opportunity to produce more content uh, in a far shorter amount of time and really, really great content. So in the case of text, be able to take long form text from a manufacturer, reduce it down to marketing copy in our own voice and present that to our customers in very short shrift. In the case of images, be able to produce images that are on our brand in the right colors, in the right style and present those to our customers simply by having a creative vision. So with all this new capability, do today's small businesses even need a dedicated creative team? I mean, I'll ask the big question, could AI creativity replace human creativity in your opinion? Absolutely not, James. This is a terrible thing. Creative people are always going to be creative. So who comes up with the ideas? Having a creative person be able to see their vision through to an image in a much more quick fashion or whether it be text or, or images um, really really allows that creative person to explore more and, and really hone in on exactly what that image uh, should be. We know that there's been quite a bit of discussion about copyright infringement or misinformation or even content authenticity. What do small businesses need to be aware of when they're using these tools? If the Gen AI model that you're using has simply scraped the internet for content and then is just repurposing that for you, then you really could be in danger of infringing on other people's copyrighted material. I would encourage every small business owner to do a little bit of research into how a Gen AI model has been trained and what the original data set is. So at Adobe, for example, we feed it in millions and millions of images. All of those images have come from Adobe stock. And we pay our contributors to do that so that we can offer copyright uh, indemnity against copyright infringement at, at the other end. Not everyone's done that. Uh, I would encourage every small business owner to just do a little bit of research into making sure they're on the right side of, of that. So where's it heading, Mike? Like, what do you think about the future of these technologies? They're evolving so quickly. What are you most excited about? I'm really excited about the opportunity for creatives, the people that really want to see their vision come to life. They have these ideas. Maybe in the past, they've struggled to get them onto a screen or struggled to get their concept sold. You know, so as an entrepreneur in a small business, how do I perhaps raise some funds or how do I convince people to invest in my business, being able to create content very, very quickly and on brand in exactly the right voice that I want and be able to show people what my vision is very quickly. I think it's a real bonus. We're gonna see some, some businesses coming out of nowhere by creative people that will be able to just actually show what they're, what they're on about. Mike, really appreciate you making the time talking to us today. It's been a great conversation. Thanks very much. My absolute pleasure, James. Great talking with you.